All right, so I, so, so I think we're going a little over 45 minutes. Um, so at this time, if anybody in the room has something particular they'd like to share, we've got a few minutes and, and would love to hear any kind of story that you've got that really uh, made an impact on you or just an example of who she was. Just give me a wave. <coughs> My name is Jim Mollowitz. And I'm Joyce Mollowitz. My trophy wife of 50 years. We've <laughs> <laughs> so had for over 35 years. And so have many fond memories of her in northern Minnesota <coughs> and um, all over the place. So Jim is going to start. <laughs> OK. As you all know, Pat was a member of many different groups, whether it was the auxiliary or, or uh, other groups that she joined. One of the more obscure ones was a team called Team Aberdeen. Now, if you are aware of Team Aberdeen, please raise your hand. All right. Okay, Team Aberdeen was a group of uh, Minnesota people that loved the outdoors, loved hunting, and loved to visit. Nancy and Pat were also members. So, we would meet every year in South Dakota somewhere uh, for our three-day hunt. And in preparation, we would have a shooting practice at the Metro Pendle. And uh, when Pat first started out, her scores were atrocious. <laughs> and uh, she took it really seriously like everything else she did. So after a year or so, <clears throat> she experimented with getting different guns at the Dominion. Uh, kept on practicing, and the next thing you know, her scores were among the highest in her group. And I'll never forget the day that her score was one bird higher than Dave's. <laughs> <laughs> I will cherish that moment. <laughs> <laughs> so we were a hodgepodge group of about seven to ten people. <clears throat> that uh, would get together every year. I believe Bob came from Montana once and joined us. Um, so we had some celebrity appearances from the <laughs> state. And um, Pat was always interesting out in the field because of her uh, very exuberant, loud, and high-pitched laughter. <laughs> so in order to successfully bag a pheasant, a number of things would have to happen. First of all, you had to be lucky enough to be standing in front of where the rooster would flush. Second of all, you had to aim the gun at the pheasant. Third, you would have to take the safety off. And then you would have to shoot, hope you hit the pheasant, hope the pheasant came down, and that the dogs would find it and retrieve it. Now, it's amazing that we got any pheasants at all. A patcher held her own in the pheasant field, and nobody had to shoot her birds for her. Nancy was a different story. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, because she lived in Isabella, couldn't make it to our practice sessions at the Metro Gun Club. And so as a result, when pheasant season came around, uh, she probably hadn't handled this gun uh, for the previous 12 months from the last hunting trip. So as a result, she might not have really remembered how it functioned correctly and things to do like how to take the safety off. But she was out there in the field hunting with us. And I'll never forget the time that a pheasant flushed in front of Nancy. Nancy raised her gun and yelled, bang. <laughs> not a shot was fired. So apparently it was operator error not knowing how to hold the gun correctly or how to remember how to take the safety off. So Pat, being the older, you know, the more responsible sister, took it upon herself to help Nancy bag more birds. <laughs> so when we were crossing a field in a line, Nancy and Pat were always side by side. So when a, when a pheasant flushed, Pat would yell, 
shoot! <laughs> Pheasant, rooster, shoot! Hen, don't shoot! <laughs> Joyce, hit the ground! <laughs>
place that she was. And so we're absolutely honored that her life and her legacy is a part of these children's lives at Crescent Cove. And in my dream, Pat was herself. She was what I saw, these beautiful pictures of her. And she said, I was in paradise, and now I'm in paradise. And when I woke up, I was like, that's right. She said, paradise was the one word she spoke as we were together. So I just was so honored to have her speak to me and honored to be in among all of you. To know her is to love her clearly, right? And we'll just take her spirit with it all that we do. Thank you. I think the, the one of the last uh, memories or memories out of Wellshire that I remember was that that uh, when they were at the sing along or when they were doing the sing along and they had the request for the song that was that was Pat's request was two tickets to paradise by Eddie Money. <laughs> Thank you.